today's video i will show you how to use uh, language translation and language detection uh, in flutter uh, without a third party library using native code uh, of kotlin and swift so first i have created a flutter project go to lib go to main dot dot and here inside uh, my home page you can see that i have defined a method channel uh, uh, and i have given it as some name called lang platform you can give it any name but make sure you use the same name on both dart side as well as on native side and next i have created two button text button uh, and in first button i am uh, calling get lang method so we have to create this method on the native side and here you can see that i am passing some data this data is in spanish language but you can write it in any language you want of course i know this is still english but i don't have a spanish keyboard with me so you can write in any language you want and uh, whatever string you send uh, the native code will give back a result uh, sending you the language code for it and uh, similarly for over here i am trans i'm calling the translate lang method and here we are sending some data in english but we will be translating from english to german of course you with a with the help of ml kit you can trans uh, translate it to any language but in our case i'm just translating from english to german next uh, go to uh, android go to app src main uh, android manifest.xml and add this internet permission next go to build.gradle uh, this build.gradle and make sure the uh, min hdk version is at least 24 uh, next go to java sorry next go to kotlin min activity.kt and here you have to define override this method configure flutter channel flutter engine sorry next we are calling that method channel of lang platform and here you can see i have defined the get lang method and i have just copy pasted this code from uh, the documentation uh, this is the code uh, which we require whenever we are trying to detect a identify a language so here we are getting the actual data and passing the data in identify language method uh, so here it, it, it actually sends back you the language code i have tried uh, doing it for uh, sending the actual language but i think it is fine like for uh, spanish it will send you es right you uh, can easily map es to spanish like you can create a json file or something in your flutter um, uh, project uh, and just map es to spanish en to english uh, that's a sort of way and it would you would be able to easily detect what is the exact language next for translate language we are first getting the data and here you can see i'm send translating it from english to german you can translate it uh, like from any language to any language uh, if you don't know the source language like you can first detect uh, use this code detect the language then pass the translate language so yeah that way you can do as well but i know that the actual language source language is english and my target language is german and first here you can see that we need to first download that uh, language ml skit so when you're doing the translation from english to german for the first time this will take a little while so be a little patient with it and make sure you're connected to wi-fi or mobile data otherwise this won't work and uh, once a translation is done for the first time the second third fourth translation would be much more quicker but uh, suppose if uh, later on i change it from english to spanish then again for the first time translation it will take time because it needs to download that ml kit tensorflow model uh, from uh, from network so yeah just be aware about that and this is for android and for ios go to runner go to app delegate dot swift oh, one more thing which i have forgot for android is go to android build dot gradle and make sure you add these two dependencies as well so this is for language identification this is for language translation next uh, go to ios first uh, like in recent uh, projects of flutter uh, there is no pod file so to what i did is that i don't have to type this entire thing out what you could do is that in pubspec.ml i just added this url launcher uh, dependency and it automatically created a pod file for me so you don't have to add this url launcher but we need the pod file because we have to add those mlk dependencies so what you could do is that you can add this url launcher 
uh, once the pod file is created you can add these two dependencies like this is for language identification this is for language translation and later on again you can remove uh, this url launcher from your dependencies okay so you need to add these two dependencies to your pod file language id and translate next go to app delegate dot swift and here you have to first write this code uh, to get the controller next you have to define the method channel and make sure this string is same as that what you have defined on the dart side and here you can see we are calling the get lang method uh, we are first getting the data then we are identifying the uh, language also make sure you add this import ml kit as well okay these other imports are not required like i was this was just my own debugging but uh, and make sure uh, if you are referring to the ml kit documentation like by at the time of the recording of this video there is some bug in the documentation it says that instead of this language identification it calls it as natural language that is wrong like you will face lot of issue i wasted a lot of my time on this so you don't have to do that uh, so just write language identification dot language identification or you might inform the ml kit uh, guys as well that there is a bug in the documentation if you are interested then here we are identifying the actual language and if the language is identified we are sending it back otherwise we are sending the error back next we are for language translation again it first uh, i am doing it from english to german so this is english this is german but change it according to your needs and uh, for a first time translation it will take a little time because it needs to download the tensorflow light model from the network but a subsequent uh, translation would be much more quicker okay so once that language has been translated text has been translated we are sending it back otherwise we are sending the error back so yeah that's it for today's video thank you for watching bye